Everybody, welcome back to the cabin. Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. Thanks for joining us. Have you ever had those eBay buyers that are just, they're obnoxious. They are they always want money back. They always want a refund or a partial refund. And if they don't get what they want, they're going to give you negative feedback. So I've had a little bit of that experience here and I did get negative feedback. And I want to tell you the whole story and tell you the process. Maybe get a little feedback from you and see if I can get this negative feedback removed. I want you to tell me if you think I can as well. And I've got some great sales too. Let's take a look. I knew this was going to take me a while to dig out of the Mississippi bin. So I brought it out. And it's a small one right here. It's the G.I. Joe Jump Pad something. I don't know exactly what it is called. It's called the Jump Jet Pack Platform 1982. So, oh, it's over 22 bucks plus shipping on that one and... Gives us about an $18 profit, $2,296 so far from $1,040. Next ashtray I picked up for really cheap, probably 50 cents out of the 301 sale in North Carolina. And I think I had the only one out there, so I'm like, yeah, I'll put it up there. $18 plus shipping. And we had to wait for a while, but it is the only one up there, so I'm going to probably break it right now. There you go. Arkansas Razorbacks. Right there, that one sold for 18 bucks, like I said, plus shipping. Next item I had to run inside to grab, but Raglan's been out here working today. I meant to say something earlier. I guess she probably filmed what she was doing, and we'll see her later in the video. Look, Sylvania is not the best brand in the world, y'all. It just isn't. But this one was clean, and I like selling these because they're the short ones, right? A lot of VCRs, the older ones, go back farther. You can get these one cubic foot so easy. And you can either ship them priority or you can ship them through UPS. And they're light. It's it's just super easy. It is not hard at all. And they might not go for as much money. But you know what? You can dress up the pig a little bit by putting... You know, well, obviously this one had a remote, so it was an easy one. It's got AV cables. And I put the VCR tape as well. And I set them on top to make the picture look a little better. Anyway, it's over 40 bucks plus shipping. And to me that is worth it because they are super easy to ship next one was something that a viewer sent to us and forgive me if i can't remember your name but i can't remember mm, it wasn't that long ago and we'll sell a lot of things that viewers send especially if they say hey you know go ahead and sell it but we keep a lot of it i hope nobody gets offended out there but we do get a bunch of stuff and a lot of people purposely send us stuff to resell and this one right here sold it is a dum dum bag. I thought this was pretty cool. So if you're out there and you sent that to us, thank you. And it is uh, making its journey somewhere else. And I just don't know that any were out there, which is why we ended up listing it. So it's the old style, you know, lunch bag right there with Velcro or hook and loop, I suppose. Look at that. It's got somebody's name in it. And at any rate, that one right there sold for $11.39. It went out on some kind of discount plus shipping by the way i think i've got something i think i tried something and i want to see if it works so if you use code commonwealth if you go and just buy an item you can go through the link in the description but viewers often will ask for a little discount or something and i'm like you know what? i'm just gonna send out a blanket five percent for anybody i often send it out but if you use i think code commonwealth you should get five percent off of anything you buy as a viewer of the show so try it. Well, don't don't try it if you're not intending to buy something. But if you are intending to buy something and you want that, go ahead and use it. All right, I had an open case and I want to kind of walk you through the process. A lot of you people who've been selling a long time, you've been through this. You know, it's not your first rodeo, but some folks out there have never gone through this. So the item was a G.I. Joe Serpent. I'll put the picture up right here and you'll see negative feedback received in it. It was $32.00. Plus shipping. So I got a, a message. Matter of fact, I missed the first message and they sent one the next day. And remember, I talk about every once in a while, I said, you know, I try not to respond to any social media questions on eBay. I'd rather not people, you know, <laughs> message me on there if at all possible, because it, there's so many of them that I miss ones that I need to see. So I didn't see it till the next day. And this person said, hey, you know, this thing was advertised as complete, which you saw in the picture it was because we thought it was complete. Well, this person says that there's a kickstand that goes underneath the gun. Okay, which I looked at a few and I didn't see any, but let's just say that there is. So we, you know, falsely advertised the kickstand, you know, whatever. 
there was everything was there, right? If there was anything missing, it was one tiny piece like that, which I would not have listed it as complete, but that's neither here nor there. The point is that a lot of folks out there will purposely find those listings that have that mistake and then buy it and then say, but what, you know, and because they know you don't want to pay to ship it back. And so that's exactly what they did. It was a $32 item. So let me read you the message. Okay, it says, hi, just received this and the figure is not complete. It isn't, or excuse me, the figure is incomplete. The kickstand which goes to the anti-tank missile is missing. And then, like I said, I missed the message. So the next day, still waiting for your reply regarding the missing piece, considering a replacement will cost me 20 bucks, I would accept a partial refund in that amount. Well, I mean, it's a $32 item, right? So 20 bucks back on a $32 item is what they wanted. And I start looking around a little bit and I, then I, you know, just obviously check up on the person, see about the missing part, all that. But the first thing I look at to see is if this person is a seller. Okay, and sure enough, this person was a seller. And you know what they resold? Vintage action figures, okay? So to me, I'm starting to think here, all right, first of all, this person, now look, I could be wrong. I'm not saying I'm absolutely 100% right, but the likelihood is that I am. You know, this could be a collector seller, right? Who's trying to finish a collector or something. But, but the likelihood is here, this person bought this, they're very knowledgeable, and they bought it knowing that it was missing this kickstand. So this is what I think was going on. And so I start looking at their feedback and they have negative feedback as a seller. And they're actually accusing one of the people who was buying from them of exactly the same thing that I'm accusing them of. And I'm like, well, if nothing else, this person knows the scheme, right? And so I'm just thinking to myself, 20 bucks on this. I'm like, shoot, they could ship it back. I'll pay the first class shipping and I can make far more because it was a good price. I could actually make money by not giving them a $20 partial refund for a $32 item because one piece is missing. And so I sent back a message and I said, well, you're seeing it. I'll just paraphrase it. Hey, you know, no, thank you. You know, I'm, I'm sorry for the mistake and I will be more than happy to pay for the return shipping or something like that. And then I put underneath it, after, I wanted them to read that first. And then I'm like, oh, you know what? I would do $10 because at that point it's not worth it financially to me. I, res I you know, I resist doing that even if I really think 100% that they're trying to do this. But I thought I'd throw it out there. No response whatsoever. Negative feedback goes up immediately. Well, not immediately, but goes up very, very quickly. And they have not opened a return. They don't want to ship it back. Now there's your answer, right? They don't want to ship it back. So their scheme didn't work, if, if you want to call it that. Now, you tell me, am I wrong? Did I do the wrong thing? What would you do? And uh, tell me the steps sometimes you take in making those decisions. Because I clearly made a mistake. Well, not clearly. I haven't even made sure that, that the person's right. But my, my guess is they're right. So even when I made a mistake, you know, sometimes they are preying on people who make mistakes. And I try not to make them, but we're gonna make them from time to time. Next one back here, this one went to a viewer. Xbox 360 Platinum Hits, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. Right there. One sold for $9.50 plus shipping. To Video Game Collector One, Chucky or Charles here. Always love doing business with you, Kevin. Hope you, uh, let's see, hope for this year of great finds. CEO of Charles Modern and Retro Games. Chucky, <laughs> I like that. Very cool. Thank you so much. And I know you got something else later here that I think is going to go on the next show, but we appreciate you very, very much. And thanks for all your purchases. You buy, <laughs> if I put a good deal at them, I know he's going to buy them up and nobody ever gets them. So, but it's just cool, which I'm all right with. So thank you. I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy it. Before I forget, we sold an Inaman and the bin keeps getting lower. Minnesota bin gets lower and lower. Man, it really is getting low. We're going to have to start doing some of the big club head covers. Then. If you really need to get your eBay store moving, you can get one of those. Now, that's got a little fading on it, which is a, a point I need to make here. We're down to the nitty gritty, so most of them are going to have some kind of flaw or mistake. And so if you're going to buy one, just know you're getting a misfit of some sort. 
Yeah, see, even that one, like the trademark on it. Which is an interesting point, once we talk about that Disney thing. And I really do want to talk about that someday. Because people talk about this right here, and are you afraid, or whatever. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll say it really quick. They would have no standing, because they don't have any... There's They don't sell them. There's no financial loss whatsoever, and there's nothing that they could actually go to court with. Plus... There are so many differences, but you know what? That's for a different day. And I want to really dig into that kind of stuff because it affects especially like Etsy sellers and people who are super crafty and people who upcycle. And I'm very careful about that. You know, we call that guy the Enema Man, right? As opposed to the Enema Man and stuff like that because certain things are registered trademarks, including Fleet and including Enema Man. So there you go. At any rate, I'm getting off on a rabbit trail. This one is headed to Jode. Thank you. So glad I snapped up an Enemant. I've bid on so many of them. <laughs> Need to get more stuff listed in my store. What I've listed has sold. That's very cool. I need Mr. Enemant to help remind me to get more stuff listed. I love watching both your channels. Thanks for sharing your knowledge. And it's Step... I can't get this. Well, I should be able to read better than this. It's S-T-E-P-A-N-S -E Mercantile. Steppens Mercantile? It's not Steven. Anyway, thank you, and I hope he gets things moving for you. And we had one more viewer sale today. If I can find... Here it is right here. Clawful. Right there. Whoop. <laughs> Gonna lose that right there. Motu. And this one right here went with... This kind of goes up the same thing as these over here, right? This is some Care Bear. Some vintage, like, Care Bear, like, almost pillow plushes. And I can't wait to show you this video, by the way. Because I left these there and I went back and then I bought them. And this should be coming up pretty quick. And, you know, this is an example of upcycled stuff. This, you know, you buy them fabric, material, whatever. You hand make them years and years ago. Obviously in the early 80s. And somebody did that here. And I ended up buying them. And, you know, there's no tags, no anything on there. But it was obviously material. It's not like it's... A rip off or anything they bought the material and made it so upcycled stuff and whatever we need to talk about that but we'll do it another day very cool good luck bear i don't know what that one is and what is this one i know this one grumpy bear there you go and those together are 40 some bucks i think plus shipping very cool and the fake care bears are good too keep an eye out for them especially if they say they're from circus circus but but that's another story for another day. Hey, Kevin and family love the Care Bear Cousin. You bought the Care Bear Cousin not too long ago and had to get the vintage Care Bear pillows. My husband and I also need, or my husband needed the Motu for his collection. And we can ship them all together. And let's see, we're going to, and they got one of the ultimate, the ultimate Animan stickers right here. There you go. The ultimate Animan sticker. <laughs> To get things moving out of their store. So they need some more good luck here. 53 sales last 30 days. Thanks and keep up the great content, Angela and family. So very cool. And as of the time we're recording this, there are 16 of these left out of 50. So pretty darn cool. It's the only time we're going to do these. We just decided once every quarter we're going to do something fun like this as a quote-unquote booster for your uh, eBay store to get things going. So any anyway, rate, we're doing it to help Jess be crafting a little bit. Plus, they're cool. And uh, go check her Instagram out, by the way. And we paid full price, by the way. She didn't give us a deal. I'm just saying that because I like to help people in the community from time to time. Thank you very much. And we'll send them all together, I guess. Thanks again. Just noticed that Mike Deathpile Picker just grabbed one, too. So thank you. I figured I'd get them out because Reagan did all that. And she's leaving for a few days, so any rate, uh, she's already filmed this episode's thank yous and next episode's thank yous. And really quickly, a thank you to Janice for buying plans for the Commonwealth Picker shipping table. We're on CommonwealthPicker.com. And I just realized, I think this is the longest we've ever gone on a show in like the last two months without having an interruption of an animal. So I got to go up and eat some dinner and then I'll come back down and I bet you an animal falls and follows me. All right, I told you who would follow me in here. If I had to pick one to follow me, this would be the one, because you are the least annoying. You came in and got your treats, and now you want out. You know your no name. <clears throat> that cat's awesome. He has a wild life, and he's the only grateful one, I think. 
never spoiled. That little helmet backpack lot, I think that's the right lot, sold for $9.50 plus shipping. Add that to the total, $2,313 so far. I don't often ask for a favor, but do me a favor really quick. I've been having a phone conversation with Ray, the Nashville Flippers, over at the Nashville Flippers. And he's the one who did the thumbnail for that Disney video. And I love that Disney video. So many great comments. I learned a bunch from the comments. And it wouldn't have succeeded quite like it did if it wouldn't have been for Ray's thumbnail. I asked him to do it and he did it super quick. But he won't let me pay him. He said I could pay him in Lego. And <laughs> I'm not doing that. So I want you to go to his channel. Either here on YouTube or Instagram or somewhere. And well, be nice and subscribe while you're at it. But then send him messages, bombard him, tell him to, to let me pay him a little bit for that thumbnail. Because it was definitely worth it. But in all seriousness, Ray is a super nice guy. One of the absolute nicest guys on YouTube. Met him personally. We've got a couple videos together. So at any rate, super nice guy. Thank you, Ray. This little sale gets me excited. It's the Danish trays you've seen us sell for a while. I don't know why they've been selling like crazy lately. But they're sold. This is the last one of the single dish. There's the double dish ones, and we still have those, but the last of the single dish ones, and it sold for 12 bucks. Free ship, but it's out the door. We paid a dime. Sold the rubber feet off of the bottom of a new wave, new, new, can't even talk, a new wave oven. There you go. I know, I know. This is not the first time I've done this either. <laughs> I've probably done it 20 times. And this one sold pretty quick. A lot of times they'll sit around for a long time, but these sold pretty quick. Nine bucks. Free shipping, so you're not making a lot of money. But you know what? How easy is that? <laughs> Rubber feet off the bottom of a new wave. When in doubt, part it out. Next one was one of those things you're at a sale and you like the folks and you're trying to find something to buy even though there's not much and it's too high priced. And this is what I grabbed. I think that's, yeah, Carhartt, like a lunch bag, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it. Something. Insulated bag. 15 bucks plus shipping. I probably paid a couple bucks. No sale for Turner today, but he's going to help me with a gift that Ray, 50 Shades of Ray, sent us. Ray, you're a man after my own heart with all the rhyming here. Banger on the hanger. Vintage clothing archaeologist finding bangers on hangers. <laughs> Thank you for the kind message, but look at this, y'all. Look what he sent me. Don't make me use my teacher voice. Do I ever use a teacher voice? Yeah. Do I? You have? No, I'm always sweet and nice, aren't I? No. No? I mean, you are a lot of the oh, time. Oh, well, that's sweet. Not, not. But I get mad sometimes. Do I use my teacher voice? Yeah. Yeah, to yell at Blue Ridge Mama. <laughs> How cool is that? Should we put that up in here somewhere? Yeah. We could put it up somewhere for sure, huh? Yeah. Put it Put up it there. somewhere. Up here yeah. on top of this thing? Put it up there. Instead of the Captain Morgan's hat? Very cool. He, he sent us a really nice message. Thank you very much. Talking about the channel, being a family channel, all that stuff. And uh, recommends us to people who aren't even resellers, he says. I don't know. That's not very family for Fifty Shades of Ray. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, very, very much. I do appreciate it on all platforms, he says. Fifty Shades of Ray, two Ys on all platforms. Ray, I really do appreciate that. Thank you. And thank you for the kind words. Wait, what you don't know what to say, do you? Because you didn't you didn't yeah. save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar, mm -hmm. did you? Bye. So why don't you just say bye? Okay, bye. <laughs> Seriously, y'all, take a second, go over to Ray's channel, the Nashville Flippers, and bug him for me, sincerely, after you subscribe. <laughs> and do it on Instagram, too. I want him to make, <laughs> I want him to be like, what the heck's going on? The next ones came from the un comfortable sale well they're right next to each other over there on the Commonwealth picker channel lots of good feedback about that video it was fun for sure a little different but it was still fun and these two the ctr uh, crash team racing and the galaga game well galaga it's namco museum pac-man galaga pole position and what's that one hmm Rally X. I never played that one, but I played all the other ones. I played them at the Pizza Chalet on Ukaipa Boulevard way back when. Anyway, $34.99 plus shipping. Just sold another of the stickers. We are now down, oh, we're getting close to the single digits. Yeah, well, so you better get one because, I don't know, 
a few more months we'll come out with another one we think every three months we'll do it i think that's kind of cool anyway here we go they're five bucks plus i think 75 cents shipping something like that camaro jamie i think your viewer says repeat buyer so jamie thank you 15 bucks on this i think it's on a bit of a discount or something five percent so thank you for the camaro z28 vintage keychain purchase we appreciate it very very much and we have sold tons and tons of those if you're new to the channel either this channel or the commonwealth picker channel first of all take a minute to subscribe i would appreciate that greatly hit that little bell it'll give you notifications for our videos coming out but there's a great video over on the Commonwealth Picker channel where we picked those up. Two epic garage sale finds, I think is what it's called. One of my favorites, and we have made a bunch of money off of those keychains right there. Hi guys, my name is Regan, and we're going to be seeing what sold out of the CWP, CWP store today. And I'm pretty sure everybody got the new Anime Booster sticker. So we'll start with Holly, Ivan, Maya, Sean, Jonathan, Dylan, Art, Kevin, Daniel, Mark, Eileen, Eric, Timothy, and Spencer. Thank y'all guys so much. And Daniel is Dan in Demand, and R is Art of Resale. Thank y'all so much. And don't forget to get your sticker at CommonwealthBigger.com. Just one sale in here, and it's the NWO decal right here, which we normally sell for 10 bucks. This one went out on discount. And I, that reminds me of something. Well, before I say that, this went to, and the viewer, I think the name is Derek. You left your message in the regular messaging system instead of on the purchase. But I remember reading it, and it was uh, something like, uh, I, I owe you at least this much for many years of, of uh, education or something like that. Derek, thank you for the kind message. I do appreciate it. And that is a reminder for everybody. Put if they, because I, I was just by chance I remembered that. I don't remember <laughs> much of anything because there's so much. But um, if you put it as you purchase it in note to seller, then I definitely see it. So, Derek, thank you for the kind words. Illinois, maybe you're from. So, thank you. I appreciate that. And these we normally sell for 10 bucks, like I said. And I bought for the first time, by the way, use your coupon if you have an eBay store second tier above before March 31st, your first uh, first quarter coupon. You get 50 bucks worth of free stuff, which is another reason to get a store. If, you know, if you're, I don't know, the, the number varies, 200, 300, 400, definitely by 500 listings, being, you know, active at one time, you should almost definitely have a store at that point. And you can get a store coupon if you're, I think the second tier store and above. I think that's right, anyway. I'm talking all kinds of stuff. And when you do, you get your coupon, and then you can use that. I got a couple of videos how to find your coupon, but really that doesn't even apply that much anymore. And I ordered something I've never ordered before, and you've seen me ship them in the small little paperboard envelopes, but I got bigger ones because this is always a pain, and my wife's like, this is such a pain in the butt to ship these things, you know, cutting out the cardboard, putting it on top, putting it in a poly bag. And so I decided I'd get those larger paperboard ones and slide it in. So they're not here yet, though. Anyway, boy, I rambled a lot about one sale. <laughs> Derek, thank you. I appreciate it. But you know what? I might as well say goodbye from in here today. Thank you all for joining us as always. I do appreciate everything you guys do for us. Hopefully your sales are going okay in Q4. I want a little bit, or Q4, <laughs> in Q1, after Q4. I'd love to hear a little bit of feedback. I'll tell you what I am hearing a ton of feedback from. And I'm hearing it from my reseller, Jeannie, from Hope and from Faith. There's from Hope and from Faith. From Hope and from Paul as well. There's a lot of the Commonwealth picker folks going over there and I have been getting great feedback so far. And if you haven't given me feedback yet, you know, you wanna wait a month or two, get used to the system. Um, you know, a lot of people are just saying, hey, I'm so happy, finally, I'm doing what I need to to make sure at the end of this next year that I feel comfortable and I've got all the write-offs I can get and, and all the information, so, it's not really meant to be a commercial, but it is, I suppose. It doesn't seem like that to me because I just think those people are awesome and I think what they're doing is awesome. I think their product is awesome. And so many people are uh, having a good experience with it. So uh, go ahead and check it out if you need some tax preparation. Now, it's not about tax preparation. It's about preparing to be ready to do your tax preparation, I guess. It's bookkeeping. 
and it really is a great, great service. So go check them out, MyResellerGenie.com. Don't forget, all caps, put in code COMMONWEALTH, and you'll get 15% off. So, anyway, thanks for allowing me to say stuff like that every now and again. I get tons and tons of offers from all kinds of folks. But when I get to build that relationship, I like to do it. And uh, you guys are so receptive to it and kind to me. So thank you very, very much. And I can't wait to see you next time.